In a world where man poses a threat to himself, the kingdom of snakes is not too far away from being in danger from humans. Nagin is a story of self-transforming cobras or Ichadhari Nags that are bestowed with a magical stone that they must protect with their lives. And they do. It is called the Nagmani. In Naglok or world of the snake, there lives a snake king, Nagraj and his queen, Nagrani, amongst a community of Ichadhari Nags. They possess a magical stone called the Nagmani. This stone is a source of limitless power. And as the saying goes, where there is power, there is evil. This Nagmani too attracted many an evil eye. Rudra was one such power-hungry man. Who on his birthday goes to this jungle to take a shot at retrieving the Nagmani and becoming all powerful. His brother Vishnu accompanies Rudra. Nagraj thinks Vishnu is a good soul and befriends him. Rudra decides to wait for a golden chance where the cave in which the Nagmani lay is left unguarded. One such opportunity comes by when the king and the queen have to attend a puja in the village. Rudra tries stealing the Nagmani and succeeds, only to be stopped by Amrita, the daughter of the royal couple. Nagraj reaches in time. Ye mani hum nago ki amanat. Pavitra mani hai. Lao ye mani mujhe de do. Tumhe kya lagta hai? Itti saalo ki tapasya ka phal hum aise hi de denge. Ye mani to mai kisi bhi kimat par vapas likh raha hoon. चाहे तुम्हारे जीते जी या तुम्हारी मौत के बाद। To be seriously injured by Rudra, but saves the Nagmani from being stolen, he hands over the Nagmani to Vishnu, since he is a good man, and asks Vishnu to take good care of it, since it will not be safe in the cave anymore. Nagraj dies in Vishnu's arms, and when Nagrani witnesses this from a distance. She misunderstands the plot and thinks Vishnu killed Nagraj for the Nagmani. Nagrani decides to take her revenge, but she fails to do so when Rudra, recognizing her identity, tries to kill her instead. Vishnu saves Nagrani, but she is injured. Somehow she manages to reach the cave and meets Amrita. Amrita sees the picture of Nagrani's killer in her eyes and is full of anger and thirst for revenge. I will give you a chance. I will not leave those people. I will finish them. Nagrani takes a promise from Amrita that she will retrieve the Nagmani from Vishnu and his friends. She also tells Amrita that only the Nagmani had the power to bring her back to life. With these words, Nagrani dies. Now, the Nagin. Amrita has a mission, and here begins all the action. I Nagmani hasil karungi ma. I Nagmani hasil karungi. Agar iske liye mujhe insano ki dunya mein bhi chana padana, main jaungi. Main unhe bataungi. कि एक नागिन का बदला क्या होता है? Amrita has to go through a lot to take revenge. There are tantrics or evil saints who come into play, and dark forces of the evil snake lords that work against Amrita the Nagin. In the meanwhile, Amrita meets a handsome man called Arjun, who is a human, and falls in love with him. Arjun reciprocates her love, and they both get married. Later, the worst possible thing happens to Amrita. Arjun turns out to be the son of the very man who Nagrani had accused of killing Nagraj. Here starts a journey where Amrita discovers who really killed her father, and she realizes that it is none other than Rudra. She defies all the forces and sets out to kill the man who destroyed her world. Amrita battles against the world, 
she must fulfill her responsibilities in both the worlds naglok and the human world she must protect the money take care of her husband and his family and lastly but most importantly she must destroy her father's killer come watch the fantasy yet very real story of amrita the ichhadhari nagin